Okay. Someone, please, tell me how this sounds. Does it sound good? Because I put the mic like an inch away from my face. So, it better sound good. That's all I have to say. Improved audio for this video. Okay, so if you're like me, you like to make videos for the internet. You also know how much work it is to shoot, edit, and then upload one video to YouTube. So I'm going to show you how to take your YouTube videos and then cut and resize them. That way you can upload them on more mobile platforms like TikTok and Instagram without much extra work. This camera angle means that it's time to start editing. So now I'll jump into Premiere Pro. Here is my last video that I made. You can check it out. But anyways, I want to convert this into a vertical video so I can post it on TikTok or Instagram. So what I could do is go through and make a brand new edit, recompose every shot to be vertical, and then upload it like that. Or I can come down here and right click on the sequence. And then I just have to come up to auto reframe sequence. And then I put in my settings. So if I'm uploading this to TikTok, I'll do vertical 9 by 16 and then I'll leave everything else alone. I'll hit create. Now here, it will start auto reframing on the bottom right. So I'll let it do its thing and then we'll come back and watch the footage. Okay, and we're back. I let Premiere Pro do its thing. Now our video is ready and it's been recomposed vertically. So here I hit play. So that worked perfectly. It tracked my face as I got into frame no issues, but let's say, if I play a little bit more, that if I wanted to track the shoe I'm holding, what if I wanted to frame that up instead? So what I can do is I can click on the clip, I can come here on the left side under effect controls, I can scroll down to the auto reframe tab, I can click edit keyframes, and here I can see all the keyframes it uses for the track. So I can zoom in on the part where I hold up my shoe. So here's the part where I hold it up. I want to change it so it's a little bit more to the right side. And then I can delete these other keyframes. Come to the end. And boom. Now I have my shoe in the middle. It was that simple. I need to cut up the rest of this video to be 16 seconds to upload to TikTok. But Premiere Pro did most of the heavy lifting with their auto reframe feature. This was definitely a shorter video, but hey, it gets the point across. If you use this feature, let me know how well it worked for you in the comments. Links for music and other stuff will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.